Hey guys, we go back, and I'm here with the Hayabusa T3 shin guard versus the Fly Spectre shin guard, so that we can do a review comparison of these two to help you decide what's better for you. Now, uh, two of the main things differences between these two shin guards is that this one is a synthetic leather, while this one is a genuine leather from Fly. The synthetic leather is still a high quality leather though. I don't want, I've, I've had this a year and a half now and I haven't had no problems with it, training with it. So that's not, durability is not gonna be an issue with this one. It's lasted me and held up pretty well. The Velcro's still good. High quality Velcro. The elastic straps on the bottom are still good. It has a, uh, this has these little, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but these little silicone beads on the inside, which help the shin guard so it doesn't slide around on your shin. It grabs your skin, and it wraps around your leg pre pretty well. It looks pretty big and bulky like this, but then when you have it on your leg, it's actually much smaller looking than what it looks when you're holding it like this. This will help give you a, a good idea of what it looks like when it's uh, when it's on. This side covers the outside of your knee. They'll protect against kicks that are coming right there that might injure or jam the side of your knee, which I think is a really interesting design. You don't really see that in too many of the shin guards, but some, some of the companies have copied this design from Hayabusa. I've seen, seen it copied a few times. Um, another thing I like about it is the style, the fact that it's black and gold. You get the uh, metallic gold right there with the Hayabusa imprint and embossed in it, and then... Uh, you also get this gold uh, high, Paragon Falcon, I think is what is what it is for the Hayabusa symbol that's, that's also embossed in there. Then you have three different types of uh, synthetic leather that are going, that are coming over this. This one's the main one that goes over, over this shell. This one's, this synthetic right here is the same as, as, as the one on the foot to match the gold. And then you have like a center part that's like almost a carbon fiber looking synthetic leather which is kind of different. And then you have the gold stitching to set it out. And you have a nice pad right here to protect your ankle if uh, they check your kick and it happens to get caught on your ankle, which is a freak thing. It does happen sometimes when you're training or partner drilling, but uh, it, it this has pretty good protection. So that's pretty much just a freak accident that happens sometimes. And this will protect you from it 99 times out, out of, or 999 times out of a thousand, I would hope. but. In the rare incident that you hit just right along that seam on an elbow or something, you could get injured. But that's with any shin guard, so you have to remember that. The piping on it is done nice. Single, single stitching around the piping, as usual, which you would get par, par for the course. Uh, it loops through, which is one, of, is one of my favorite things about shin guards when they loop through like that. Because you can really cinch it down around your leg. Which is how I got this to, to go from being so bulky looking like this. How it's so wide compared to this one. And bulky looking. That's because it, when you cinch it down. It will literally bend like that. And wrap around your leg. When you pull it. So it does get smaller. Even though it looks extremely bulky. And it is a very light shin guard. It's actually probably lighter than the fly. Just a tad bit. Not much though. But lighter than the fly. The protection on it is excellent. Uh, it kind of covers over my toes, but it doesn't cause problems when I'm walking or sparring. It doesn't touch the mat. It doesn't touch the ground when, when I take a step forward, so that's not an issue. I like the fact that it protects my toes. That also helps protect your sparring partners when it goes over your toes because you don't want a toe going in somebody's eye on accident when you're just training. Um, they're marked right there. Remember, this part right here on, on the Hayabusa T3 is on the outside of your knee, like this one. This is the right one, how it's on the outside, the right side of my knee. And my left leg, right here, it has a fly shin guard on. This would be on that side to help protect it. Um, very light, very ergonomic when, when you uh, wrap it around and pull, and pull it tight. And uh, it's an excellent shin guard, especially in the summertime when, when uh, you're trying to keep your legs cool. This one is pretty pretty nice and light and efficient and honestly it's a, it's a great it's a great shin guard for sparring and partner drilling to protect your partners 
Now uh, let's move on to the to the fly specter, which maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're close to this. Maybe they are the same weight because this one feels pretty dang light in and of itself. Um, one of the things that that the uh, fly that I like about it better than than the Hayabusa right now is when you look at when you look at the straps that cinch it down from the back from these two versus these two. These straps on this one, on the fly, are much wider. Going up and down vertically, they're wider, so so you get more surface area to cinch down the Velcro, which is higher, which will make it higher quality and last longer because Velcro it, it can break down over time, but the more more of it that's on there, the higher quality it'll usually be, especially if you're buying it from Fly or Hayabusa because. They have good quality, but the problem with with the Hayabusa is if you look at this one, I have some straps still left, flailing, flailing off of the back, which is all right if I'm kickboxing, probably won't have any problems with it, but I still would prefer not to have that for kickboxing and Muay Thai. Um, but when you're doing MMA and you start grappling, sorry, that was my phone going off. When you're doing MMA and start grappling. You're gonna want you're gonna want your shin guard to uh to not have these straps getting pulled off when you're on the ground. And if you have it loose like that, it can catch on something while you're grappling and come off. Versus the way that the fly shin guard fits on the back. These uh those little velcro straps seem to uh go in the perfect spot for it. Although you'll have to forgive me because this is actually the left shin guard, and for whatever reason, I put the right one on the wrong leg, <laughs> now that I look down at it. So, uh, typically when you put your shin guard on, you loop, you loop it through the inside. So this is actually the right shin guard, but it still fits extremely well on the other leg. But I'm going to switch it over and put this one on, because I accidentally did that wrong. So, as you can see, when I spin around, the difference in the straps. These ones don't really overhang and stick out, whereas these ones do. And this right here is my main concern. It's just those straps right there hanging off the side. So, at the end of the day, I, I do like both of these shin guards. Man, they're beautiful shin guards. But if I have to pick between the two, I'm probably going to go with my fly. Another reason being is that if you look how flat it is across the knee, I kind of like that design where, where it's just flat. I mean, it just goes across. Then I might be able to put a pad on my knee. And it's about the perfect length for my shin, too. It goes all the way up to, up to the bottom of my knee and covers a little bit of my knee. For me... I like the Fly Spectre just a little bit better, but I also love this shin guard. It depends. Depends what I'm doing. I use them both all the all the dang time. Almost cussed. <laughs> Sorry guys, but uh yeah, I'm gonna have to on this one. 9.5, 10. <laughs> well, there's always room, room for improvement. Let me give it a different rating. This one is a 9 and this is a 9.3. <laughs> that way there's room for better. We'll say. I, I don't know. Well, I'll have to make up a better rating system. So just think of that as nonsense. But uh, mainly, I do feel like this is a better shin guard. Although I still love this one. And you're not going to go wrong buying either one. This one's a little bit cheaper than the Fly. And the Fly is much harder to come by at the moment than the Hayabusa. And the Hayabusa also makes an upgraded model that's made, that's made of uh, genuine leather. So... I don't have that one, so I wouldn't know how good that one is. Maybe it's better than this one. I mean, of course it is. It's made out of leather, but at the same time, I don't know if it'll still stand up to this one. It's It would be something that I'd have to test in the future, but I'm always going back and forth between these two and can't really decide when I go to the gym. This one sometimes fits in my back better just because it's flat. This one, um, it, it's just so comfortable, and the ergonomics are just a look, just better than this one but this one's so comfortable and light and protective man they're both they're it, it's even it's just so hard but 
Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm going to go with the fly over this one. I just wish fly uh, was making more of these at the moment. And I also wish that uh, that they had them in more colorways than just the black and white and the white and silver. Probably going to have to pick up the white and silver ones of these and the white and gold ones in these in the future just to match sparring gear that I buy in the future. But uh, overall, you can't go wrong with either one of these. Both light, very protective. Uh, but if you're going, if you're going to be doing this for MMA, which a lot of us are, go with this one because those straps won't be hanging off if you have thinner legs. If you have thicker legs, possibly this one might be the better one. But I don't know. I think that I just like this one better. I'll talk to you guys later. It's been cool talking to y'all, and uh, hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, guys.